In addition to being able to create new files and folders right within OneDrive, as well as upload files and folders from your device to your OneDrive in Office 365, you can also move and copy files and folders into other folders within your OneDrive or even to document libraries of other SharePoint sites. Let's take a closer look how. So I have a demo mtech folder created here. I know it's a new folder, by the way, because I can see these three little dashes uh, coming off. It almost looks like fireworks coming off of that word demo. If I hover over uh, that particular folder name, I can see a little bubble appear to the left. When I click on that bubble, notice that I have a few more options in my toolbar, including the ability to move to or copy to. If I select move to, I am essentially moving this folder from my main files tab in my OneDrive. I can choose to move it to a destination inside my OneDrive. So in other words, a different folder, or as I mentioned, I could move it to a different SharePoint site. However, again, because I've selected move to, this would remove this folder from the main files library of my OneDrive. If I select copy to, Instead, that would leave this folder here on the main files page of my OneDrive, and it would essentially make a copy, and that copy would then be stored inside the destination I chose in my OneDrive or um, in the document library of the SharePoint site. Well, let's try moving a folder. By the way, to move a folder, uh, the steps are exactly the same as if I opened up the folder and selected a file to move or copy to a different location. So let's just go back a step and we're going to move this demo mtech folder inside the Christine mtech folder, my master folder for all my work. So again, I hover over that folder and the bubble that appears to the left, I click it. And in my expanded toolbar, uh, I want to move this folder completely, so including all of its contents. So I'm going to select Move To. As I mentioned, I want to move it to my master folder where uh, I store my work. So where it says Choose a Destination, in this case, I'm going to select Your OneDrive. And now I can select the folder that I wish to move it to. Notice that I can click on that master folder, Christine MTech, and I could drill down even further. Maybe I wanted to put this folder inside another folder in that master folder. I can keep clicking until I found the space where I wish to move this folder to. Once you found that space, just simply click move here. That folder and its contents has been moved from the files main page of my OneDrive and if I click on Christine MTech, I will see that folder and its contents inside here. Now, let's take a look at how we copy a file or move a file to a different SharePoint site. So I'm gonna make a copy of the file of awesome. And we, again, are gonna select that file and click copy to. And I'm going to find the SharePoint site for my Social Studies 8D team. Remember that your teams all have connected SharePoint sites. So there's my Social Studies 8D team. Um, if I didn't see it in the suggestion list, I could always click on this little link, Browse Sites, to view sites that I belong to, okay? including a Show More link, in case I still don't see it. But here's my social studies AD team. I'm gonna select that. And I want to make a copy of this file to the document library. And now I select a channel. I'm going to put it inside the class announcements channel. And I just simply click copy here. And that file successfully copied 
to the class announcements channel in my social studies 8D team. All right, the one thing I should mention uh, is that if you choose to make a copy of a file, if you edit the copy, the original file will not be changed or updated. If you move the file and you edit that particular file, then yes, the edits um, and changes will appear in that original file.